So let's set up our play field. The play field for our game will be very simple. We will place walls around the edges to keep our player game object from falling off, and we will create and place a set of collectible objects for our player to pick up. First, let's create a new game object and rename it Walls. This will be an organizing parrot game object for our wall objects. Let's look at the organization of our hierarchy. Organization in our projects and our hierarchy are very important. We need to understand that organization at a glance. We organize our projects using folders or directories created by our operating system. We add these to our project using the Project Views Create menu. We organize our hierarchies by using game objects. In our scene, game objects can hold other game objects. Don't be afraid to use an empty game object as a directory or folder in the hierarchy. Reset this game object to origin, and this step is important. We want the transforms of all of our container game objects to be at origin before we use them. Now we will build our walls. Let's start by creating a new cube to be our first wall. Rename this West Wall. Reset this game object to origin. Now parent West Wall to our Walls game object. Let's focus our scene view camera to our wall object. We can do this by typing the F key while the cursor is over the scene view, or by selecting Edit, Frame Selected. We need to change the size of the cube to fit one side of our play area. Change the cube's transform scale of X, Y, and Z to 0.5 for thin, 2 for tall, and 20.5 for long. Now we can simply push the wall into place using the Translate tool, or we could enter a value into the transform component. In this case, we can set the transform's position X value to minus 10. This places the wall neatly to the edge of our play area. To create the next wall, we could start with another new cube, but then we'd have to rescale this new cube before we placed it. Our current west wall is already the perfect size. So, let's duplicate the west wall game object. Let's rename it east wall. To place the wall, simply remove the negative sign and it pops into place on the east side of our game area. Now let's duplicate the east wall and call it North Wall. Reset the X position so the North Wall is in the center of the play area. We now have two choices. We can rotate the wall by 90 degrees, or, as this is a cuboid, we can rescale the wall to 20.5 in the X and 0.5 in the Z. Now it's scaled correctly for its orientation as the North Wall. We can drag the wall into place, or we can simply use the value of 10 in the Transform's Position Z field to place it. Duplicate North Wall and call it South Wall. And negative 10 in the Z axis pops it into place. Enter Play Mode and Test. Fantastic! The walls work fine. Remember to test early and test often. Don't wait to test. Let's exit play mode. Let's highlight the player game object and set the editor to local mode and try again. Note how in local mode we can see the transform rotate. Let's exit play mode. In the next episode, we will be creating our collectible pickup objects.